Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And this is a fairly quick video here about this Olsa Tools 6 inch ladies foot, lady slipper, or rolling head pry bar. And the reason I'm bringing this to your attention is this is one of my favorite tools. I love this thing. It's a little tiny snap on. As you can see, this is the 650. Tiny little guy. Six inches long, beautifully uh, machined, forged, um, rolling head pry bar. But Snap-on wants $56.75 for one of these. That's a lot of money. I mean, that's almost $10 an inch for a six inch pry bar here. So a lot of people don't have them and that means they aren't graced with the magic of what these things can do. It's wonderful for small hole alignment, knocking things out. You can, this is, is fairly sharp. You can make it as sharp as you want. Um, but it also has prying, very high leverage prying capabilities, uh, levering capabilities, wedging, you know, and of course in smaller holes, you know, trying to align up something that uh, doesn't quite match. This is great. So this always ends up in my toolbox, or in my, or excuse me, my, my tool bag when I'm going to do some project. Love it. But because of that expense of $56.75, that's outrageous. I bought it a long time ago. If somebody wants to figure out where and post it in the comments, they can. There's the date code. It looks kind of like a 7 to me in Snap-on. You know, there's a little... The way Snap-on date codes work is they often mimic the last digit of a, um, of a, with basically a number, but the last digit of a year. So this could be 2007. Maybe that's when I got that. Uh, it could also be 1997. I don't remember. But anyway, here is the Olsa tools. Uh, that is not Olfa tools. That's a different company, Olsa and Olfa. I um, guess we're running out of names. But anyway, it's also a 6-inch pry bar. Very similar in length and shape to the Snap-on. Uh, I prefer the Snap-on. I like the thinner head. Uh, it comes much sharper from the factory. This is fairly dull. Um, this is a bigger, thicker head. You can see the two, the Snap-on on the top. But this is... Uh, selling on Amazon right now for $11.87. That gets you in the door to this wonderful 6-inch rolling head pry bar magic. It's a little bit different, a little thicker. What they did here, it appears that they manufactured it and then did the black oxide coating and then they ground it down, they tapered it. And when they put this um, point on it, they faceted it, so somebody was was not spending a lot of time doing this. Um, this is a quick fix on your belt sander, or your your um, bench grinder. You can just grind that to whatever you want. That point being sharp is great. Definitely something to do um, if you've got one of these. I picked this one up years and years ago. This is a classic. This is a larger one, Snap On Twenty Fifty. Um, had to uh, sharpen this up. It was just all all beat up, but got it back into fighting shape. I haven't done much with the end here. Um, that's what a stubby end would look like, but most of the time if you're trying to align, you know, on larger metal objects, you know, just stick that through, you know, wiggle it, bend it, you know, so you can get your bolt or rivet or whatever you're doing through. Um, I also have this one. This is uh, the... Uh, 12 inch and roll that around. Um, this is the 1250. Nice and sharp. I actually had two of these. One of them I actually ground, you know, had to refinish the end. It was used. Um, polished this up. Uh, learned a lot about why sometimes you don't want to do that and why you do want to do that. Um, gave that one away. So now the one that I originally bought off the truck, this guy years ago. Again, uh, might be a similar. I bought them in the same time. Might be the same year. But anyway, these are fabulous. But to get into a little one, like this Olsa Tools, uh, that's a rarity. This is the only other one I could find 
anywhere as I was looking around. Super handy, excellent tool, 11 bucks and 87 cents at the moment. Um, who knows what'll happen there. Close enough to the snap-on in terms of shape if you don't want to spend the big bucks. But literally, that's that's almost one-fifth the cost. One-fifth, or 20% of the cost of a snap-on. Um, and there it is. Simple design, very handy, solid tool. And with that, dock out.